Hi, and welcome back to another episode of the History of Fan Anime. I'm your host, William Zhao, and in today's episode, we're going to talk about how to get anime, and one of the things that we used to use, and that was one of the most important tools that we had to use, was the anime catalog, okay? So, before we begin, uh, we want to remind everyone to go down below, click like and subscribe. Uh, you know, getting really, really close to my goal. I'm going to be uh, already starting preparation for the next anime giveaway, so again, stay tuned for that. Uh, do remember to subscribe and do turn your notifications because as soon as I start posting out the stuff, you want to probably start getting your eye, uh, you know, ideas and kind of stuff, getting ready uh, to get some uh, some free anime goodies. All right, so don't forget to do that. Okay, come soon. Don't worry, it's come soon. Um, so today's topic, of course, is uh, the anime catalog. Okay, so let me just kind of uh, set the story for you. So basically, so here we are at a time before Windows ninety. Five, okay, so you know, we're in the, in the early 90s, and all this stuff is coming out in Japan. Um, you know, all the anime is all you know, coming out, you know, every year, every season, there's new anime, and, uh, you know, we can see a little bit from the anime magazines, but, you know, how do we get it over here, right? That's, you know, the big question, like, you know, what's available, how do you get it over here? Uh, we still, at this time, still in the early part of the, the, the you know, the 90s, you know, we, you know, the, the the anime companies are still, you know, struggling to get licenses and trying to get animes out. As I said, things like uh, our very first animes, like you know, Project Echo, um, Anime Ego's first things like, um, um, you know, Vampire Princess Mew and and things like that, uh, and uh, you know, U.S. renditions, you know, things like Dangaio, uh, you know, Extra One and things like that, all didn't come out until ninety two, ninety three, ninety four, right? So we're even on the very premise of, of, of uh, you know, starting with those type of animes, right? So here we are, you know, we, uh, we're we looking for ways to how to get anime. And so one of the things that I came across and found out about is these things called anime catalogs or, you know, or media catalogs, okay? And so I'm going to show you what, uh, what what's going on. So basically, um, at this time, um, you know, I was going to the, you know, to the uh, local Japanese um, you know, bookstore. Okay, so we had we have actually have two in Vancouver. One Sophia's bookstore, and um, and uh, Iwasi bookstore. Again, uh, I've you know, talked about it in the previous episodes of how I've got anime uh, locally. Okay, and what you know, some of the places that I went to to go and get anime. Again, you might want to go down and check that out uh, if you want to have more information about that. Um, but yeah, anyway, so I go to the anime uh, to the bookstore, and I noticed. You know, the, 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 uh, in, in, on their counter and uh, was on the sort of resources, uh, sort of like resources was, a, was this big, huge telephone book-sized book, okay? It, it actually looks like, like a big, huge telephone book. And I was curious, what the heck is that, right? Like, like obviously, it wouldn't be a Japanese telephone book. And what would, like, what would you have a Japanese telephone book here for? Well, I suppose, I, mean, I, suppose, I suppose if you wanted to call a Bandai or something, I guess you could do the long distance phone call to the Bandai. But, um, but no, what it was I mean, is this book here. <clears throat> okay. It was a gigantic book like this, okay? You can see it's a really, you know, I mean, it literally is like a telephone book, okay? And so this one is for the year 1994, and this book contains... Literally every single CD that is uh, that is released uh, or at least up to date for the year 1994. Okay, it's, it totes there's 75,000 CDs available um, on the Japanese market uh, through this particular catalog. And of course, it's not all anime CDs. Of course, there's there's um, game CDs. There's um, just regular you know popular artists like Yumi Hamazaki, uh, you know Nami Amuro, things like that. Of course, the Team, Team Network. Um, things like that are all going to be in here, of course. And you, you, you have all your, your classics, you know, um, Akina Nakamura, you know, things like that. They're all going to be in this book, okay? And so, you know, I, I picked up the book and said, okay, well, I mean, you know, what, what's it kind of like? And so you, you flip open the book and, you know, it's got different sections, as you see, marked out into it um, based on topics and that kind of stuff. But, you know, the most important section to me is this one section which is referred to as the animation section or anime section, okay? So this is basically the section of basically anime CDs. And so I was so, you know, I was so excited that something like this occurred. I decided, okay, you know what? 
I'm gonna, you know, I want to order one of these things. I mean, you know, why bother have, you know, me standing here at the counter at a Wasi bookstore, you know, looking through this thing? Why don't I order one of these things for myself? So as you see, it's, uh, you know, it's 3,200 yen, so about 32 bucks US at the time um, to get this book in. So I was so like, all right, okay, get this thing. I want, I want to copy this for myself. So I got a copy of this thing. And so literally, I went through and, you know, uh, you, know, you know, literally, you know, as you can see here uh, on this marked out page, I literally went through and I marked in, in pen, in pencil, wrote down every single title that I, that I sort of knew. I mean, I went through this like, you know, like a fine tooth comb. Like, I was so excited, like, hey, I can finally get access to all this stuff. And literally, this catalog is so concise that it actually lists very, very important information about the C about these CDs. So not only do you tell you the, the title of the CD, it tells you um, the serial number with, that they used to order it from. Um, it has obviously the price and when it was released. So then, you know, it has all this information. That there's a, but the also nice part is it actually has track listings, okay? So it actually tells you what, this, what, what tracks are actually on the CD. Not that you can hear it and not that you know what it's about, but at least, you know, if you're looking for, uh, let's say, um, you know, a BGM CD and you know that, you know, it, it's got a particular theme song or something, you can try to look that title up on here and then that'll give you an idea. Okay, well, this sounds like it has at least the opening theme song for that particular anime. Maybe I'll order that one. Of course, that wasn't that advanced. I just say, wow, that's, you know, <laughs> it has that CD. I'm ordering. I don't, I don't care what it has. I don't want to order it. So a typical example is, is that, I'll, you know, I'll just, just use the example here. Um, let's say I was really, really interested in a ser television series called SPT Lazenar. So I'd, I'd look up the, in this book here and I'd see, you know, and look up and find out that, oh, okay, here you go. Here's a section of SPT Lazenar CDs, okay? And of course, there it has volume one, volume two, volume three, and volume four and extra, okay? So I thought, okay, perfect. I'll photocopy this little section or I'll make a note of the page and whatnot and I'll take it down to Wase Bookstore and say, hey, I want to order this. And Mr. Inoue was really, really super, like, you know, he's just ecstatically happy to see me. I guess, I'm guessing, <laughs> he's ecstatically happy to see me because everybody sees me, he's, you know, I'm going to drop him a list of things like, okay, I want this, 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 and this, and this, and this. And he's like, okay, yep, yep, write it down, do, 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 do. And, and he'll place the order because he knows that I'm, I, you know, I'm, I'm ready to drop, you know, hundreds of dollars, like, 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 a, like a dime, like that, just boom. So I go in there and say, yeah, I want this, 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 and this. Now you gotta realize, you know, each of these SPT Lazenar CDs as listed on this thing is like 3,000 yen, okay? So these aren't cheap. These are 30, you know, 30 US dollar a CD, right? And there's four of them, right? Volume one, volume two, volume three, four. So that's, that's, that's $120 just like that, boom. I want all these SPT Lazenar CDs, boom, give me them. And so I give them, you know, tell Mr. Anyway he, 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 to, to get those and boom, he do them off. I have to sit there and wait for, months okay <laughs> because what obviously that's going to happen is they're going to he's going to place an order in in fax it or whatever and it's going to go to their sister company in japan right because uh, the wasi bookstore is, is a chain um um store uh bookstore okay just like kinyu kinua is there's many locations all over um including you know, obviously many different locations in japan okay and that store would then go to their manu you know go to their distributors okay and all the you know and all the major companies would basically send their stuff to the distrib you know to the media distributors and they would order it and and they and they get them from them so obviously you know when i place this order they will then in, in turn get it from their distributor and, and then they would get it from the you know the label or whatever and they would you know send it there and, and They'd have to obviously box up in Japan, create it up, and then you know on the next ship, <laughs> literally cargo ship because they're, they're, they're not going to airmail it, right? Um, too expensive, so they're going to put it onto a ship and then send it over here by ship. So obviously, you know, we're talking months to get it, right? But eventually, what would happen is, you know, um, my SPT Lazenar CDs will arrive, and basically, so here's my SPT Lazenar BGM number one. Uh, BGM number two, and BGM number three, and of course, BGM number four, okay? Um, and then, you know, if you want, you can guys okay, compare the listings that are on the back here with what there was in the book, but I mean, for the most part, you know, if you're looking for, you know, Lonely Way, yeah, da, 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 you know, airmail to Nagasaki, right? It's again, 
right away. Volume one, and even says there, Lonely Way, track one, and five minutes to, to whatever it's up uh, is track 12. Right there, Airmail from Nagasaki, tracks one and 12. So perfect. I've got my theme songs, there you go. And of course, the rest of the BGMs are on the track. So. Um, so that's a case of something that, 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 that this catalog was extremely useful for. And I use this a lot to order all those miscellaneous CDs and that kind of stuff. And, you know, some choices were good and some choices were bad. And again, I, there's many episodes that, in my listings that you can see where I made some mm, yeah, questionable purchases. Okay, let's just uh, <laughs> call it that way. But there we go. So that's uh, one example of, of um, you know, one of the things that, that, that we constantly used to get my my CDs from. So, so in addition to just using anime magazines, now I have this full-fledged catalog which contains all the CDs and that kind of stuff that were, that were, that were out that uh, I was able to order, okay? And I ordered, you know, like literally, like anything that, that really had a, you know, a note, I ordered it. Just on, so on, on spec, on spec, just boom. Uh, ordered many things, okay? Now, this takes care of CDs. Um, you may ask, well, what about, uh, what about the, uh, movies and, the, the, okay, so, well, they also made one, okay, which is this book here, okay, this is the anime catalog, uh, for Laserdiscs, okay, um, for 1993, so basically this catalog, uh, has basically a listing of all the various different Laserdiscs for 19, uh, you know, up to 1993 that were still available, um, uh, here, okay, now, I'm going to do a little bit of a cravat here. It says, just because it's in this catalog, okay, it doesn't mean technically that you could actually still get it, right? Um, again, we're in an era of 1993, so we're still before Windows 95, so we don't we don't have any windows, we don't have an internet the way we have. You know, Yahoo auctions and all these places don't, you know, don't exist, right? There isn't these buying sites that allows, you know, to translate you know, from English to Japanese to, you know, let you talk, to, you know, or let you negotiate or find things in Japan, right? It, it's, you know, phone call or write a letter or send a fax, okay? So, you know, I'm not going to, you know, get Daisuke to, to, to try to do too, too much for there. So, when I found out that this book was available, I ordered this one from uh, Uwase Bookstore as well, okay? Um, not too expensive, this thing. I think this is, yeah, 1,800 yen. So this is like $18 um, uh, US to buy, okay? And it's you know, not that, you know, thick of a book, but, it, you know, the case. And again, at the very front of the book, okay, you know, just a big mired of different, um, uh, you know, especially more popular, more up to date sort of anime, um, uh, you know, laser discs that are available, okay? Uh, various different topics, right? So, I may come up and, and say, okay, well, you know, I need to see, and, uh, you know, let's, uh, I want to order a particular laser disc that caught my eye, okay? So, let's say I turn up to this page over here, for example, and, you know, because I'm wearing a burn-up t-shirt, you know, I want to order this particular laser disc right here, uh, burn-up, okay? So again, you know, I have the, you know, again, you know, because these cows are really good, they have, um, you know, the, um, the, obviously the year that it was released, it has the serial number or the, the, you know, the code number in order to order it. So if you went to any sort of store, okay, a bookstore or whatever, like a, you want to see a bookstore or can you, can you, uh, they would know the code number in, in order to, to, you know, order the, the exact same product uh, from Japan. So um, they would basically put that together. I would go out there and say, hey, you know, I see this CD, can you, uh, or DVD, or, sorry, 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 Laserdisc, sorry, and um, can you order this one for me, right? And he'd write down the numbers and code and all that stuff and whatever, and, and he would order that. Again, uh, this particular thing was 3,800 yen, so, you know, it's, that's like 38 US dollars, which is not bad for an OVA, although Burn Up was only... 45 minutes long, so it's not that long for, for an OVA, but it's, you know, it's, it, it was very economically priced and pretty good, so we figured, okay, well, let's order it in, so we get it in, yeah, um, again, he write, uh, Mr. Inoue would, would, would write it down, and, and again, he'd have to take that, send it back to the sister store in Japan, so then they would then go to the distributor, they would, you know, find out who makes it, again, you know, it has to be a uh, a relatively major company or whatever that, that obviously you know is in the network because obviously if you're not in the network then it's very hard for you to get you know even you know national distribution in Japan right so they'd go there and get that 
Um, and then, you know, again, waiting several, several months for them to, you know, pack it up, put it in a car, so put it onto a ship, send it all the way to Vancouver here. And then basically in several months, um, I will end up with my burn up uh, laser disc, okay? And then, you know, then from that, uh, I'll probably go out and make the subtitles for it. And there we go. And again, fortunately, uh, later on, um, um, A Division did finally get this and they licensed it. But of course, you know, well, Art Animation you know, was the first two uh, fans of this one Burn Up W, or Burn Up. Okay, now, this isn't always the case, of course. Um, uh, the, the others, so I can take another example out of this book, okay? Okay, so. No, this is a obviously an example of a good scenario. Well, there's also the other scenario which happens is that well, for example, you know, because we just well, since we're on the topic of it in my last couple of videos where you know, I can go into this book and we can look up something like this, okay? Um I can take the you know, in the second back section they actually have these all filed in in um uh alphabetical order by number. And so I can go to Ma, for example, and go to uh, Maho Demo Steady, okay? Uh, my girlfriend's a, my Steady's a, uh, a witch, or my girlfriend's a witch, or <laughs> the girlfriend that is my witch. Um, <laughs> something like that, okay? I can look it up, and yes, the, the, the laser disc information is here. Uh, with the ordering number, how much yen it is, the company that makes it, and even a small little blurb of description about what it basically is about is written in this section here. And yeah, so and again, I can take this information. I would you know give it to uh, you know, to Oasis Bookstore to, for them to order in. Now the problem in this case is distribution. They obviously in Japan, you know, they they would try to order this DVD or this laser just for me. Um, using the, the distribution network. The problem becomes um, is in distribution, okay? So Maho uh, Demo Steady uh, came out in 86, okay? This catalog is for 93, okay? So you can tell seven years have already passed, um, you know, between the release of obviously the, 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 you know, the original lasers for this and when they actually have put it in this catalog. So if I, you know, when I got this catalog and put the order in, let's say 80, you know, 93, 94, okay, seven slash eight years have already passed since the original release of that. So when I go to, you know, place an order through a Wasi bookstore, uh, bookstore, they're gonna go and, you know, go to the distributor and the distributor then gonna, is gonna go and try to, you know, get, the, get it from their company or from whatever, right? Now, you know, an anime such that isn't released by a big company, you know, we're talking Bandai, Motion King, VAP, whatever, okay, um, okay, they're not going to have a big warehouse or a big, or a big distribution network or a big, you know, storage of these areas, okay, they're just going to, um, you know, you know, release something and, and uh, basically hopefully sell off, you know, the Whatever the, the, whatever print run they made. So if they made let's say five thousand laser discs, they're gonna try to sell off all five thousand, liquidate all five thousand laser discs. Because really, um, you know, in the retail world, you know, if you've got something sitting on your shelf or in your warehouse or whatever for, you know, three, four, five, seven years, okay, you're obviously you're not gonna get any more sales, okay, as time goes on, right? It's just. You, you know, obviously made something really popular. Um, you know, you're gonna probably sell most of your copies, you know, right away within the first year or so or whatever, and then basically it's gonna tail off all the way to the end. So, um, you know, after maybe one or two, three years, you know, if it's still sitting on your shelf, then it is what, you know, in, in retail business is, is called a dog, okay? It, you know, it is something that's, that's tying up cash flow because it's sitting on your shelf, not selling, it's not moving anywhere. It's not giving you any more cash. You're holding on to it for what reason? And you're not, right? Um, so people you know, tend to mark it down, discount it, or whatever, to just blow it out. So we're talking about a, a single solitary title that's been sitting you know, in a warehouse, on a shelf, or whatever, for multi-years, okay, already. And it hasn't sold, and nothing new, no sequels, no nothing else about it. This company... Um, is a one-shot company, obviously. They haven't sold and done anything. Else. Apparently, they're still around. They haven't done anything and will not do anything for, you know, multiple, almost 15 years. They will not do nothing until uh, until 15 years uh, from um, 1986. So, you know, um, 
what's going to happen is that, you know, they're, they're going to look, try to go and you know, get a copy of this for me. And they're going to realize, okay, well, they don't have any more or they, or they, they cleared them all out or, um, you know, there's been discontinued or it's on clearance or whatever. Um, they just can't get it. So when I, you know, when I go to order this thing, they can't send it to me. So that's one of those things that I'll order from the Wasi bookstore and I will never, ever get and never did get, right? So, you know, that was my chance to try to get it. But obviously, um, because of the window of opportunity has passed on it, okay? So the only way they would now would get it, I'd have to get it as a used store. You know, I'd have to go to like maybe book off or something and buy it as a used thing, mandrake or that kind of stuff. But again, at this time, without the internet, without any sort of, you know, ties to Japan, no one on the outside world other than outside of Japan would know anything about the used market that's in Japan, okay? Because as I said, we're still very, we don't have a global economy right now. We Everything's still very, very regionalized, very localized, right? So um, sure, you might be able to find copies of this kind of stuff in a used store, in an old rental store, that kind of stuff, all in Japan. So unless you have somebody in Japan who can look this up for you or find it and dig it out for you, there is no online sources or anything like that for you to actually get this particular thing. So that's why in the modern era, you know, when we've, you know, that we, you know, we have all this community, you know, you know that, that, that can share and that can, and, and can work together to, to get things. Um, we can achieve things that we can't, and had no possibility of doing um, back in 1994. Okay. Um, so that's, yeah. So that's um, basically how, uh, we used to get uh, anime, and they said, if you're really on the ball, you can get these catalogs on, on, on a yearly basis and, uh, you know, basically be able to keep up with your anime and have no problems with that. Of course, now the only problem with that is now you got to have money because <laughs> you can realize that, yeah, even $38 US for, you know, a, a simple OEVA like Burn Up W, um, you know, uh, Burn Up here um, is very expensive, okay? And of course, you know, you would obviously have a nice laser scope of, of the, you know, the, the anime that you like. You still had to do the things like translating it and putting the subtitles and that kind of stuff on it and whatnot. Okay, because it's, it's straight in Japanese. No translation or no English subtitles at all. It was just only later when uh, Arctic Animation you know, actually went out and actually, you know, got someone to translate it and uh, used our subtitling equipment to actually put the subtitles on it and then made it available to everybody else. Okay. So, I hope you liked that as a, sort of as a sort of a history lesson, sort of more elaboration of a, of a previous episode where I talked about these anime catalogs, but now I've actually you know given some concrete examples of how this catalog works and some situations that, that how it worked for me. Okay, and I'm sure um, you know the odd person out there uh, probably was able to to also you know re replicate um, what I've been able to do here uh, using these catalogs outright. Okay, so. Uh, don't forget to stay tuned, but like, hit like and subscribe because there's going to be a lot more you know, cool videos coming out. And again, the, get, the anime giveaway is just around the corner, so be tuned, stay tuned for that, right? So, until next time, see you. <laughs>